Vim Mindos, and welcome to my channel. I've been a fan of D&D for a very long time, and beyond the very cool dice, great storytelling, and imaginary worlds, I fell in love with the miniatures. I painted my first minis around that time, and have been painting them ever since. So follow along with my channel, and see if this old dog gamer can learn some new tricks. Welcome to the next chapter, Dawn of the Painted Dead. Follow me as I paint the Zombicide board game minis. Last time it was all about the primer. Now it's what zombies crave, the flesh. I chose to begin with the flesh mostly because I wanted to use just rigor mortis speed paint for all the zombies, but I wanted to break them up into groups when I go to finish them. I realized early on in the primer phase that painting this many minis at once can get overwhelming, and so I decided to narrow my focus into smaller groups and individual minis. Needing a break in the action? Me too. So here's a shout out to my good friends at the Cobalt's Lair. And after that, I'll show you how I broke up my batch burnout. Need dice out on the high seas? What about minis in the jungle? We've got you covered with paints, terrain, minis, and more. Located at 1270 Front Street in Crescent City. Open 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. The Kobold's Lair, supplying your battlefield since 2023. To give me a reset from the repetition of the zombie horde, I decided to paint the Abomination Mini where I only had to focus on one model. I wanted the Abomination Mini to stand apart from the rest of the zombies, so I chose Maggot Skin Speed Paint for the Flesh Tone. Right now I think it's a bit too green, so I might bring it back to more Flesh Tone color with some layering when I go to finish it up. My original intention was to use moldy wash from the army painter on all the mini's fleshy bits, uh, but that may change when I get to the finishing stages. Uh, I would love some suggestions, and as always, you're welcome to comment below. Just be nice.
Now that I reset my painting mojo, it was time to get back to the zombie horde. Partway through this last session, I was feeling some serious batch burnout, so I just turned to Facebook for some inspiration and I wasn't disappointed. A big thank you to everyone who posted their works in progress and got me back in the painting mood. And there we are, the last big batch of painting is done. From here on out, it will be either individual minis or painting the zombies one sculpt at a time, all the way to the finish. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please hit like and subscribe, and then share it with all your friends. Tune in next time when I start turning into real zombies. Remember, they ain't gonna paint themselves.